Hello, Andre Fork, the beer review guy. Look at this that I found. This is the Axe Head Watermelon. I just had to, I just had to get this thing. Um, I mean, what are the chances that this could be good? I didn't like Axe Head. Is it just, is it this, is this just like Axe Head malt liquor with watermelon flavoring added to it? I don't know. It's 12% ABV. Um, it says, cons contains sh Shisandra berry and Damiana leaf extracts. Contains alcohol. Um, let's see, what else? Malt beverage with natural and artificial flavors and FDNC red. Okay, so it's going to be, it's going to be a red beverage. Union made, all trademarks and designs are the property of Mountain Crest SRL. Axe head watermelon, axe head watermelon, axe head watermelon, all the way around the, the bottom there. See it on there? Just to, just to make sure you know. See the watermelon uh, pictures here? Okay, well, let's, uh, it says flavored malt liquor on there. It looks interesting. Um, wasn't very, it wasn't very much. Man, I almost needed Jeremy to open that for me. I about busted a fingernail I didn't have. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, it's not as... It's not as watermelon -y, y that I thought it was going to be. Um, but it looks like a basic... It looks like a basic uh, watermelon beverage. Um, if I was going to drink this flavored malt liquor like you would a malt liquor... You know, out of respect, show the label out. It would be dumping all the way down my shirt because the label is over here. Well, it's, the label is in with the mouthpiece like this, so I wouldn't be able to do it. So I have to apologize for that. But I will drink it out of the can for a minute just to see. Let me get an aroma test first out here. I'm getting watermelon and alcohol. It's just like you took a regular watermelon beverage and poured alcohol in it. That's what it smells like. Ooh, wow. And that's exactly what it tastes like, too. <laughs> Um, yeah, getting watermelon taste. I mean, getting watermelon flavor. It's sweet. Um, it's, like, you know, it's an artificial watermelon taste to it. Um, like a watermelon sucker or something, you know. Maybe like a Jolly Rancher type watermelon type taste. Um, Yeah, as you can see, it's got kind of an orangish, reddish kind of copper kind of appearance on the color. It's got a light carbonation. It's got a light body to it. Um, it's got a light carbonation appearance. It has a light carbonation mouthfeel about it, too. So, I mean, it's better than a regular Axe Head malt liquor. Um, if you're going to drink an Axe Head malt liquor, you might as well drink it flavored with the fruity type taste. But uh, there you go. Let me know if you've tried this. Um, you know, it's okay. 
I could almost drink this over ice. And I, I don't like thinking about drink, drinking a beer over ice, but this is really not... Uh, I almost don't want to call it a malt liquor because of what they did to it. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, it's got kind of a, a sticky kind of thing about it. All right. Well, I thank you all for watching. Like I said, let me know if you've tried this thing, what you thought of it. And um, thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. See you on the next one. Bye.